Thanks so much for being with us this morning. You know, let's start right there on Roche's response to COVID and kind of how you're modeling the pandemic going forward, both on its impact to your business more broadly uh, and in the way that you're responding to it. Yeah, we have still seen a strong demand for our COVID tests in the first quarter. Uh, we expect it to decline now with infection rates going down uh, in Europe, in the United States. But of course, uh, there's a big question mark what is going to happen later this year. Will there be another wave, uh, especially during the winter season? So, yeah, we have to remain vigilant. And how do you uh, sort of make decisions about production in the face of such uncertainty? And how are your decisions affected by governments like here in the United States sort of waffling on continuing COVID funding and purchasing uh, of new tests? We saw last summer we were caught flat footed, not having enough home tests as one manufacturer wound them down amid less demand. How do you ensure that that doesn't happen? Yeah, very early on, uh, at the beginning of uh, 2020, two years ago, uh, we took a lot of upfront risk. We invested in our manufacturing facilities, and in fact, so did the whole industry. And as a result of it, and I think this is a huge success story, we could quickly um, upscale uh, production uh, and ensure supply. Uh, so, yeah, we took a lot of upfront uh, risk, uh, and, and eventually that was the right decision because the pandemic uh, was much more severe than we originally thought, and it lasted much longer than we thought. And one product that you also have is a COVID and flu combination test. Do you see this as something that could ultimately become available as a home test for consumers? And has COVID kind of changed consumers' relationship with diagnostics in general that now we'll expect to be able to take home tests for all kinds of respiratory infections? Yeah, actually, we do believe that uh, in particular for the upcoming uh, winter season, there will be a need to differentiate infections. If you visit your doctor and you have symptoms, uh, by that time you want to know, is it the flu or is it COVID? And for that reason, we have developed a combination test, which will be um, available. And uh, in, in, in fact, uh, we, we believe that will be a very important contribution for healthcare systems in the U.S. and around the world. Do you see taking that directly to consumers as a home test as well? Yes, it is actually a home test. It will be available for patients um, at home. Uh, and uh, actually, we have seen a big demand now for, for home testing. So I do believe that also for the flu and this combined test, there will be demand for such tests uh, at the home of the patient. And I want to ask you also about your work in cancer. Roche, obviously one of the biggest cancer drug makers in the world. And you had some results recently that were a little disappointing on a new target in immunotherapy against small cell lung cancer. But this is a target that you are continuing to work on. Many other companies are as well called Tigit. Tell us about your expectations for uh, the success of future trials, considering the last one uh, didn't work out. Yeah, this uh, target we feel is a very important one and we have actually a range of trials for different cancer types. This first trial uh, was for a very uh, difficult uh, type of cancer, so we knew that the probability was low that this trial would succeed. But there's other trials upcoming and, uh, uh, you know, uh, let's keep fingers crossed. I think there's a good chance that other indications will work out fine. What I should say as well is that uh, this is only one of many medicines in our pipeline. We have now 14 new medicines in our late stage pipeline, so there is a lot to come in cancer and beyond.